Right, so I've decided I want to create some ATCs. So I'm going to use the same technique again. So I'm getting, this is frayed burlap this time. I've got the middle out of a, I think it was either sellotape or something along those lines. And I'm just going to stamp randomly over this layer of kitchen roll. Now it is just one single layer, I haven't folded it into four because I want the ink to travel quite a lot more. So I'll still get two layers when I separate it out but I want just sort of random marks with this. This has been used a lot for mark making so it's actually coated in acrylic paint so this um, distress oxide doesn't sink in to the roll because there's a, a layer of acrylic paint on there. So as you can see I'm just going randomly all over my single sheet of kitchen roll. I've got a reasonable amount of ink on the ring all the time. So I'll put that away. Move that out of the way. I will actually wipe down so this doesn't get activated and muddle my images. And then I'll spritz this well. And then when it moves we'll see what we get. You can see there's quite a lot of yellow coming out of the mixture. There's a little bit of pink coming through. We've got brown. We've got some nice little tenderly bits that are just developing. Just a little bit more on there. There's a lovely piece here. So it'll be all quite interesting when it's dry. So I'll switch the video, I'll dry it, and then I'll show you what it's like, and then I'll create my ATCs. We'll separate these and see exactly what we've got. Slightly damp still, but we'll get a fair idea. There we are. Where's my piece of white paper gone? There we are. As you can see, that's lovely. It's got nice rich browns and some nice yellows, but almost like a little bit of a pinky tinge as well. Just in various places. That's the top layer. And this is the underneath layer, which is equally as nice. It's a little bit fainter, not as distinct, but it's really pretty still. And the underside is nice as well. So I'll create some ATCs. What I'm thinking is possibly with a backing of book pages because then you can see the book pages through. So there was that. 
all that. So I think that will look really nice on top of book pages. And then a couple of focal points. So I finished the ATCs. I'd covered the backs just with book pages. Once that was dry, I just glued on the uh, tissue which I'd applied the distress inks to, spritzed with water and then dried. And you can see it's created a halo effect with different colours. So I applied that with decoupage glue, uh, just putting the glue on and then patting the tissue onto it. I didn't brush a lot because I didn't want to rip the tissue because it is very, very fragile. But once you've used it once, you'll get used to how delicate it is. Applied a bit more stamping in areas and a little bit of gel pen. And then I just glued on some little bits of ephemera that I'd created with stamps and embossing powder. They're quite simple, but they're quite nice and it lets the areas with the ink where it's reacted just shine and show up nicely with fairly plain embellishments. I might add a rusty paper clip, but they're more or less done.